Okay, so let me tell you one important story. Okay, so when I have started my software testing career, right, I I had nearly around three years of experience and have never with worked with Jenkins before. And this was the first time I have joined a very new company. And the first task they have given me is to create a freestyle job, and run our automation framework on that. Uh, they were running this automation framework using command line before, and they wanted to do it periodically. They wanted to run it on every day at 11 a.m. before, uh, I mean, whenever we start our day, right? And uh, trust me, I was very confused at that time, and I was just. Uh, Uh, telling myself why I don't know Jenkins. I have three years experience as a software tester, right? And then I went to my one of my friend, who was a developer, and he said he also don't know at that point because uh, uh, Jenkins is something which is basically related to an automation server, right? It's an automation server that we have discussed in the last video. And uh, sometimes in other companies, you are working with uh, you are working with very small companies where it doesn't require. Jenkins is not required. Automation servers are not required because we are running it uh, manually. Most of the things, okay. But whenever you join a decent company, right? Whenever you join a company, product-based company, or sometimes an MNCs, Jenkins is very important. Trust me, guys. So that's what I wanted to tell you that if you are a fresher, even if you are a three years experience or five year, ten year, it doesn't matter. This is one of the skills of CI/CD that you should know, okay. And in this video, I'm going to explain you. How to install Jenkins on Windows, Mac, uh, Ubuntu is very simple. So you can follow the same process. And I'm going to explain you one more important concept, which is what exactly is a freestyle job and how to basically configure it. Okay, so let's get started. Awesome. Uh, so this is the agenda, guys, which is running uh, installing Jenkins and running a Maven project, which I think you have seen previously also. Similar project that you can run. uh maven is a build tool right you can run your development projects also a very similar commands we have seen and we will basically understand what is freestyle job okay uh okay awesome so how do i install uh, this jenkins on my windows machine so right now i am in windows okay and if so what you need to do is just go to the jenkins.io/download okay and select your operating system for example if you are on mac uh, let me make it my little small myself it is smaller if you are on mac i think it is uh, very straightforward we you have to uh, you have brew installed already brew is an installer for a mac and uh, you can basically fetch a Jenten, jenkins uh, lts which is the latest version and you can mention the version also if you want to i prefer using this lts okay uh, so let me jump to my mac okay and i think so i have already installed it because i was showing you the demo at the day one right So this is the command that you need to run. Let me show you again, which is brew, brew, install. I think this one, right? Uh, install Jenkins LTS. Okay. So this command you have to inst- uh, basically uh, run, and after you basically run this command, right? Uh, it will be automatically installed, and uh, you will see. some of the options uh, to configure the jenkins so that i will show you in the windows right now okay so let's do one thing okay so i have downloaded uh, if you want to download for windows i think uh, you go to just windows right and it will automatically download a msi file okay you can just cancel it because i have already downloaded it let's go one by one click on this uh, welcome to the wizard you just have to click next uh, i'm going to explain uh, i'm going to use the same uh, okay Uh, run as a local admin is not recommended, but you can do that as of now, which is not. Ah, uh, port number eighty eight is fine. Test port, okay. Green signal, everything works great. Okay, he it's saying that I will be installing the Java SDK, ah, uh, JDK basically. Okay, no problem. Ah, uh, there's no and click on install. Awesome. Ah, uh, so let's wait for a couple of seconds. Awesome. So, ah, uh, let's understand ah uh, this concept, which is basically what is freestyle job. Okay. So you are seeing this dashboard right now in Jenkins, right? And uh, this is uh, basically to create any kind of a new job. This is for managing people. This is build history, manage Jenkins, which is very important. Uh, most importantly, all the global configuration or anything that you want like to do with Jenkins, right? It is here. Uh, here are the couple of others like creating a views. For example, you can create a views for your developers. 
you can we create a view for uh, testers they have a different set of jobs right they want to run so you can have that differentiation here uh, those things okay uh, so let's understand what exactly is freestyle job first okay so freestyle basically means that improvised or unrestricted okay uh, in a nutshell it's just a typical job that you run okay and uh, it could it can be a simple command it can be a simple sending a report it can be a simple packaging of a application it can be a simple running a selenium test case so freestyle can be anything okay pipeline whereas if you see a pipeline job it basically a step-by-step uh, -step process right here in freestyle we have we are uh, we have unrestricted uh steps that we want to run so, so let me give you a very simple example uh so these are the steps uh in freestyles right so steps like uh there will be a journal information that you are adding which source codes management we are using if you have a local source code available right now in our case it's local you can per, and you can also fetch from the gate also so that that you can mention here uh, what is a trigger for example if you want to run it like 15 minutes after 15 minutes 10 minutes 5 minutes right you can do that bid environment uh, which is an environment for example you want to add which library for example maven and gradle you want to add any environment variables that you would like to add you can mention there here this is build uh, where you will mention right uh, which command you want to run for example if it is a maven project you will be running maven clean test right and it's a, if it is a gradle you can run gradle test something like this so those things you can mention post build action is basically what happens after you have uh, if you have run the uh, selenium report selenium uh, project right you want to sell email you want to send uh, email reports or you want to uh, basically show some slack notification if you want to publish a html report you can mention in the post bill action okay so let's uh, do this in a live okay uh, so this is the uh, jenkins dashboard right now i'm looking uh, so you can click on new item and let's do hello okay uh, this is the freestyle project that i'm doing uh, i'll just click it okay uh, and if you see same same thing right description hello to jenkins this is just a description and there are a couple of bunch of options you can do if it is a github project you can mention the url here you can discard the old builds if you want to you can throttle this and you can parameterize this which is very important for right uh, you can add different parameters to the project for example suppose uh, you want to run suppose you want to run uh, a project where you will be mentioning url outside you want to pass it from jenkins right you can do that uh, here so we'll uh, understand this after uh, in probably in day three uh, day four okay uh, and we are not using any um, source code management you can if you are using it you need to mention the git uh, repository and the git username and password here okay so that it will automatically fetch the use uh, the resp uh, your repository from there you can trigger it for example you can uh, do a build periodically uh, if you have uh, add five minutes if you want to run five minute ten minutes or anything that you would like to add you can do that uh, i'll give you one website which is cron tab dot guru here you can get the uh, exact like where, when it will run right so you can change uh for example i'll just do this thing and it will say that it at 4 10 it will execute okay so it will tell you exactly so you can test it out your builds accordingly uh and build environment we don't want build step we want we want to execute a windows shell right suppose right now but right now if you see our project uh so we can run a windows shell for a hello world so window shell if you know we are just running it like a hello right i'm just saying a hello and in post build action you can publish a html report you can do other things also but this is just a simple project right that we are creating so just click on save and click on build now right and it will build the project for you and you will see it here click on this green icon and here uh, green basically means build is passing finish success and we have a hello okay so let's create uh, the selenium project okay uh, after this uh, this will be again a freestyle project where we will add we will be adding the uh, maven configurations awesome so uh, this is a selenium project that we will be basically executing okay so let's uh, okay now i'm not able to type okay now i will do okay so this will be selenium project i'm just adding a description okay there's no uh, source code management none we don't want to trigger the build uh, there's no environment we will basically add a, a top level maven target okay and here the basically how we want to run this project is basically clean test and uh, there's a particular 
file uh, command that we want to use. Okay, give me one second. Awesome. So uh, what you need to do is uh, go to configure. Okay, so whenever so you can add any description like for example this is a uh, selenium Jenkins. Okay, uh, job. Okay, whatever it is. Uh, there is no source code management. Again, just reiterating trigger. We don't want uh, trigger. You can add also. For example, if you want to do it parallel, uh, if you want to do after, so click on this question mark again and uh, you'll see some of the examples that you can add for example if you can do it like 50, after 15 minutes for example this will every 15 minutes right so this will run every 15 minute uh, let's copy this and uh, just paste it here uh, so your jenkins bill will, will be executed after 15 minutes okay paste let's do one thing instead of paste uh, 15 minutes let me let's make it by 2 okay so it will say it will run on 105 and uh the next it will run for uh the same date i think it's just giving you some random example okay let's do it 10 minutes okay okay after 10 minutes it will run uh let's do it 5 is 5 working yes 5 working okay okay so we are we have done it periodically it will run after five minutes again right and uh, let's go down 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 uh, you can go directly to like begin build and build environment uh, here we have added mvn and this is our basically goal that we want to run we want to clean the test we are, we are basically running a single dot xml okay so uh you i have told you like you can download download the code from here uh, let me show you here uh go to this uh yeah in the jenkins folder sd.live slash notes jenkins folder you can download this zip file uh one thing you need to modify is this the uh, this one which is basically your own uh chrome driver path uh exe is for windows right now i am showing you on the mac uh which is basically a little different how you will download the chrome drivers go to this go to this uh, website download accordingly uh, first see which version you guys are using go to help section go to about chrome i'm using 94 so i will be using 94 so 94 uh download it you will see this link zip file uh, for windows you can download this mac you can download this mac with the m1 chip which is different you can download this line linux you can download this after this uh, just put them into a particular folder right uh for example you can put it here and replace that uh from here this directory okay so this is a simple text uh test case which we are running we are basically uh setting up the driver uh we are setting a chrome driver and here we are basically opening a test test uh, test app of a lambda test and we are doing a couple of uh, selenium work which is basically clicking some random icons and after that we are just quitting it that's it very simple right awesome yeah and uh, so this is the command we need to use we need to basically say, tell uh run the test of single dot uh, xml okay which basically means uh we are if you see here we i have created one single dot xml which basically run this file right and what is this file this file i have explained you all okay so you need to chain these two things which is basically your directory that's it now uh move back to the jenkins uh go to advanced uh here you just need to enter your pom.xml file what where your pom.xml is there in mac it's here so I have set it up on Mac, similar thing that you can do on Windows also. And uh, just, uh, that's it. I mean, and click on save, okay? Two things which are still missing, which is basically uh, in your Windows especially, sometimes uh, what will happen is MVN is not installed, which is Ma Maven, right? Uh, go to manage Jenkins, go to gl global tool configuration. Okay, click on this and here, click on add JTK. And uh, here, click on add and enter your username password and save it okay go to oracle website create your free username and password enter here and it will install jdk if you if you have not installed jdk that's uh this is just for that okay and uh, how do you install maven maven is free to download without any link uh, i mean without any credentials so go down you can go to maven installation add maven okay click on add maven just name anything for example mvn2 okay and if you see the test case is running 
since we have done it periodically right yeah <laughs> okay uh, uh make sure you click on this install automatically and click on save okay i have done it already so i'm not gonna do that uh, i'll just click on leave okay and here we have added periodically now uh, configuration is done so you can directly click on build now and it will start executing it if you see it right and it will basically open this url uh, and it will run the test cases and everything works fine now one more thing which is coming is html report you can see the html report right uh, how you can basically configure it again you have to just go to dashboard and uh, click on manage jenkins uh, this is a plugin actually so you need to install one plugin uh, click on installed uh, and you will see i have installed one uh, where it is html publisher Come, 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 go. Yeah, this one, HTML publisher. But if you don't see it, uh, just go to the available tab. Uh, go to available tab and just search for this HTML. You will see it, okay? Click on it and install. Click on this install without restart and it will be automatically available. And how to configure it, which very, very simple. Just click on this, uh, click on clone figure. This is actually a post build action, right? After your build is done. So this. Uh, you can mention this directory where your test case uh, results are coming. So here they are coming at this folder. I have named it test.html and this is coming, right? You can add more post build action like email notification. So you need to configure the email provider and uh, you can add like more con post build actions like publish a JNU report and a couple of other options which we'll discuss uh, after this, okay? So this was it. Uh, this uh, demo I have shown you on the Mac. Similar, it will work on the Windows also. Uh, here on Windows, uh, similar things I have done, configuration, right? And uh, if you see Selenium, I have added uh, none. There is no trigger I have added here. Uh, MVN, same thing. And here you can give the pom.xml. In post build action, I have not added the uh, HTML publisher. So let me show you how you can add that. Uh, again, uh, again, same thing. Manage Jenkins, go to your plugins. Uh, where is this plugins? Uh, not this one plugins right go to uh install in uh, go to available because it is not installed right and here available uh there we you will see a uh where it is where it is i think a html publisher i have installed let me check html publisher where are you H, 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 H. Okay, so I think it's not installed. I have a label. Where is the search icon? Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. I have HTML publisher, right? Click on this, install without restart. And it will uh, basically install it if you see, right? Last one. Success, everything works great. Uh, go to, uh, again, go to your job. Uh, just add the con go to configuration and where you will see the reports right you need to just enter the that thing like post bill action uh html to publish html report add and here you need to add the same directory where you will see the reports okay so for example in mac uh in configuration i have added this uh, similar you can do in the windows right just need to enter this and what is the name of your file that you want to open and save similar action in windows also okay so i hope this is clear guys uh, you are able to run your test cases you are able to understand what is freestyle uh, how to install it and this was a quick demo okay uh, so let's uh, similar thing we will be doing it uh, with the docker which is very important to learn let's do it in the day three okay let me show you uh, so this is a day three where we'll be learning with docker commands how to run the same jenkins and same job okay let's jump into the day three all right thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video bye